Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we'll be working here on a BMW E46. This, guys, is the 3 Series from year 1998 to year 2006. And if you guys are wondering how to test your Vanos, okay, Vanos solenoids, if they're working or not, stay with us and we'll show you how to do that even without removing them. The procedure is super simple and it takes only a couple, a couple minutes to do. So let's go ahead, start on it. Before we do that, let me tell you guys we'll have more than 200 videos on this car and every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe, like the video and leave a comment below. Let's start on it now. So. That's the computer guys that we'll be using, it works on any car, not just BMW, if you're guys fixing cars or you're in that business, I would definitely recommend this too, check it out, list it in the description of the video below guys, nothing sponsored but it's amazing, amazing equipment, okay check out all the makes that it supports and pretty much it's almost like dealer level equipment guys, even you can work on Lamborghini and Ferraris. Uh, you can read the lead codes from every computer, you can do programming, you can program keys, TPMS, quite a few things guys. So, how you test the vanos without even removing them? Okay, let me show you now, pretty simple guys. What I'm going to do now, okay, we're going to find BMW here, okay, I'm going to uh, turn now the ignition on. Okay, like that, ignition on, we click BMW. And we're going to connect it now. Okay, this is the programming device that is connected to the OBD port of your, uh, of your BMW. We'll click automatic selection now and here we're going to enter our VIN number. Okay, like that. We click yes. And we're just waiting a little bit until everything loads. When it loads guys, we can continue. Uh, I just checked the battery voltage, it's 12.2 you can see in the corner which is a little bit lower than it should be but we haven't driven the car for a long time we'll click diagnostics, we'll click control unit next we need to select drive and here this is your engine computer, DME we're going to connect to this one and I'll show you guys what we'll be doing next now Okay, now we need to go to active test, component activation guys, right here. We scroll this way and we have two vanos, inlet, only one engine running and outlet. Okay, vanos exhaust, also no. This is on the exhaust manifold, this is on the intake manifold. Uh, this is on the intake camshaft, exhaust camshaft. So, I'll go ahead, start the car now. Okay, let me start it for a second. And now guys, with the car running, okay, we're going to select Vanos Exhaust. When I click on this one, it will give me the options to activate and deactivate. When I, I, when I click activate, you're going to hear the car guys, kind of like misfiring, running terribly. Okay, this is uh, because you activate the Vanos, it will open it all the way, and the car will almost die on the exhaust port, but it will not. So listen now, what will happen? Okay, and he did die. So, why? Because our engine is a little bit colder too. So, if, it's, uh, if it warms up a little bit, it will stay. But if it dies, it's fine, guys. Okay, it means that it opens the Vanos all the way and Vanos is running. As a result, guys, okay, as a result, you can see the car dying. Now, if I click on the inlet, no matter if the engine is warm or not, Inlet almost every time when it opens, your car will die. So what this thing does, okay, it activates the vanus all the way. Like opens and closes all the way so you can test it if it's working. And now check this thing out. Same thing guys. So we can definitely tell, okay, if your vanus is working or it's not. And in our case, both of them are working. So we shouldn't have any problems with the vanus system. That's uh, one way to test them because as you know that's a weak spot on BMW 46 the vanos so you can easily test them and see if they're working or not. If they're not working when you click activate nothing will happen the car will just keep idling like that or you will notice very little change to almost nothing. Okay the car must almost die guys except on the exhaust side. On the exhaust side if the engine is warmed up okay it may stay running okay but it may die as well. So. 
Hopefully guys the video will be helpful to some of you having uh, problems with the files. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and see you guys next time.